There's Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Excited to have Hunter with Green Valley Vans up in Connecticut back on the channel. Today he's going to give us a tour of his newest creation. Hello Hunter, welcome back to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. It's great to be back. I have a 2022 four-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter to show you. You can jump right in. We put step sides up here just to ease with a jump up to the top. You can see right at the bottom in the front the floor right here is two inches of polyiso, so the floor is raised up for the shower pan here on the entryway. When you walk around, you have a swivel seat in the front, which then turns to the front, and you can use the Laguna mount table between that and the seat in the back. If you look up, we have Alvan's overhead storage compartment with built-in shade around the whole front. Coming around, we have a deep sink, all Corian solid surface countertops. We have a double induction cooktop here. And right below it, we have a four cubic foot truck fridge refrigerator. Underneath of here, we have a four gallon hot water heater with a shower valve built down below. We have multiple areas of storage underneath of here with all pull out shelves and recessed locking buttons. Up above, all of the windows that we have are Arctic Turn double pane acrylic insulated windows. Both of these shades come down so you have a Mylar coated sunshade here, and if you pull it up, you have a bug screen below. We have overhead storage, the full length of the van on both sides. Right here, all the cabinet frames are built out of 80-20, and then solid plywood panels on the sides and the bottom. All the doors have gas struts around the whole van. We have the rooftop fan, the Max Air fan. Right here is actually the rain shower head for the shower pan that's built into the floor below. How that works is you grab a shower curtain. There's two split curtains, so that way you can access the diverter valve when it's in use. The curtain just come right out. They have magnets around the top. All the magnets are built into it. They clip right up. That way you're not using a roller track or a curtain. You can see where the other curtain would continuation around here. That way you can open it, access the shower valve on and off. The bottom's weighted with magnets also onto the pan so that way you don't have to worry about water coming out. This is the shower mat. You can pull it up to clean it out and to clean out any dirt and debris that gets underneath there. It's a deep, two inch deep shower pan with two drains. That way if you're off level a little bit, it's not a big deal. This goes right down. And then here, which utilizes the same curtain system, this is the brand new compo closet toilet, composting toilet. This flips up. It has a pull tab right here. The front, you have access to the auger for the composting toilet. Then going around, all the walls are 12 weaves umbrella fabric. You have 20 amp outlets with PID chargers and USB. You have the Touch 70 display unit, your Webasto heater control, your AC and heat pump rooftop unit, and then for the rear curtain, automatic power shade up and down. And you just press the down button, and that will go all the way down to the floor. And then also in front of that, you have, you have a bug screen here that's built into the wall track. It comes down and just clips in, and you have the whole back sectioned off from a screen so you can keep it open for the breeze. This sofa is a combination part of the bed. It's five and a half inches of memory foam. And then underneath of it, inside of this large box here, you have your water pump access, winterization, the water valves to control the tanks, and your strainer for easy access to clean out in case you get any debris in your tank. As you can see down here, we utilize the same marine vinyl flooring that we've used in other vans because of its durability through all seasons. Right underneath here, going through the rest of the couch, is the actual battery bank system. These are the EG4 lithium batteries. They're server rack units, so they have a consolidated front panel and access to all the information on the batteries. It's a combined total of just under 11,000 watts of power. Now, this is a 48 volt system in this van, so we opted out of using solar so that we could use a 48 volt secondary alternator on the van. Underneath of here, 
is the rest of the Victron equipment. Everything else throughout the whole van is Victron from the distribution center to the Servo GX, all the tank monitorings, and to drop down our voltage from 48 to 12, we utilize the Orion 30 amp. Back here, you have easy access to all of your overrides that the Servo GX controls. That way, if there's ever an issue, you always have access to everything and your valve system. Both fresh water and gray water have heaters on them and the power distribution panel. Now, in between each one of these, we have Laguna mount surfaces here for both sides, depending on which side the person's sitting on. The very last cabinet, we have the Victron Quattro 48 3000 volt amp inverter. And this whole battery box has multiple fan inlets and outlets here to keep everything cooled down through the summer so you don't have to worry about reduced efficiency when you're over, over temp. Going down here, underneath of this Murphy bed, there's multiple other access doors for storage around the wheel well. And you have an, another 20 amp USB and PID charger underneath here with an HDMI cable that goes to the IPS monitor that's built into the bed above. So up here, the ceilings are six foot three. We have two and a half inches of poly ISO. And for reference, I'm five foot 11. Now let me show you the coolest thing, which is the Murphy bed. First thing you do is unlock both of these. They both go counterclockwise. You fold up the bottom seat of the bed just to keep it out of the way. You can pull down on here and the bed is on spring so it doesn't have much weight. This folds down. You can pull this one back. It doesn't matter the orientation. Both of these cushions have a, a taper to them. So as long as it's the larger side on the shorter side, both sides will fold down. These fold in. And then you have a short queen size bed in the back. The mattress is five and a half inches of memory foam with a cooling foam on it. Everything in here is fiberglass free with a fire barrier. And then underneath here, the bed, this is the housing that supports the monitor display. So you have access to all of your ports, including the VGA port if you want to hook it to your computer for video editing or any other purpose. Another thing I want to show you is when you fold this up, you can put your cushions right back in position for daytime. You have also have a secondary leaf here, which can be just be positioned up for an extra countertop support for cooking surface. All of the plywood panels in here, everything is a UV coated 11 ply maple on both sides. So it is solvent proof, chemical proof. You can clean it with any detergent, any surface. All edges are sealed in here too. It's the same with these black, flat black panels. They're all solid plywood construction. Let me show you the back. Both sides have tubby access holes for your water hoses or power cords. The driver's side has an outdoor shower valve and spray port. You have a secondary step here that I'll show you underneath the rear is where the water tank is mounted. There's a 28 gallon fresh water tank that is heated underneath the rear tire carrier. And then coming around again, we have a 30 amp shore connection. We have the water inlet. And then in the very front, we have the gray water hose connection for the gray water tank dump. Hunter, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of your awesome creation. I'm always amazed of what you and Paul are able to come up with in these van conversions. Floor plans I've never seen before, systems that not too many people are using. This thing is unbelievable. I know it's for sale and it's not done. You're adding a couple little bit more things to us. Can you tell like, yep. what your plans are? So our plan, we will be listing this for 165,000. Now we are gonna leave the option in that price point to have a lip kit and tires installed at cost. That's good. That's a, gonna be a really good package. This fan is incredible. I'll leave a link in the description with your ad and contact information. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.